Hey, it's been a minute. I'm so sorry I haven't posted in three weeks. School has really been a pain in the ass to me recently. So, yeah. Today I'm bringing you the full weird side of YouTube iceberg. If you enjoy this, you should definitely like and subscribe because I'm trying to reach 500 subs pretty soon. Now sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy. Anti-piracy screens are fan-made screens that display a message showing that the system has detected an antivirus that is against piracy and is a legal copy of the game you're trying to play. These fake videos usually surface around Super Mario series and many other Nintendo games. Usually, in my childhood, I surface around one of these videos and it's, it's off-putting, I guess, but it's not really scary. But here's the one that I found. Oh, Elsa Gate, where do I even start? Elsa Gate's a series of videos that usually showcases two people, in which is Elsa and Spider Man. But there's a bunch of other videos that showcases other people, of course. The video is usually made for kids, at least that's what it seems. Instead, it's inappropriate, disgusting, and violent at times. Where I first watched this video, I was a kid and I just was so weirded out and I was confused of what I was even watching. Sound Fingers is a series you can still watch on YouTube, by the way, depicting a character who suffers through many issues, and the show has a very great shock factor. If you're interested in watching it, I recommend watching Wendigoot's video detailing more about the series. I don't know how that series is on YouTube. The creator is very good at editing and making it look very, very scary. I watched this as a kid when I was younger, and man, I can tell you I got many nightmares watching this, but... The more I grew older, the more I realized this show has a greater message than what's, you know, first impression when you first watch it. I really recommend you watching it. Lost episodes are fan-made videos of fake episodes for popular shows. Some famous examples is the grieving from Amazing World of Gumball and Squidward's word I can't really say on YouTube. They are usually for the intent to creep younger kids thinking it's a normal episode for their favorite show instead being quite the opposite. I remember watching one of these when I was younger and man, I was just in shock. Like, how do you just make an animation of Squidward committing suicide? That makes no sense. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is a web series consisting of six episodes about a lesson that the characters are trying to show in a weird manner that gets dark pretty quick. It also could be funny at times, but for me, at least it's pretty weird. Don't Hug Me I'm Scared does have a meaning to it of course, so if you are interested in watching the web series, I have the link to the full series in bio. Check it out. Come on guys, stop mucking around. We only have five minutes until our show's on. That's not enough time! There's always time for a song. Smile HD is a song that talks about making your friends smile, making it seem positive at first, but quickly turns dark. Pinkie Pie is the star of the song, and she ends up killing all of her friends while the peaceful song is playing in the background. I think the song's an absolute banger and a master of art. I recommend you guys all to listen and peep it. It's pretty funny, and it's entertaining, of course. I Feel Fantastic is a video of a mannequin singing in a living room, giving an uncanny look, making most viewers feel uncomfortable, since it's just off-putting and in my opinion, it feels ominous. People have made theories that the creator of the video is a murderer due to the lyrics of the song and randomly showcasing a view of a forest. However, this theory has been debunked since it's just an art project. Petscop is a video game that is about child endangerment and child abuse in a way that the game feels relatable to others that suffer with the same problem. This game feels like a whole rabbit hole as soon as you start watching. I recommend watching Nexpo's video talking more in depth about Petscop. I've heard very good things about this game, but I've never played it and I think no one else has ever played it. You can only find footage of the game on YouTube, I believe. 
So if you guys are interested, I recommend checking it out more into detail. I'm gonna be here so you can see that the game is apparently unfinished because there's nothing over here. So I'm just gonna show you the, the one and only level. This actually is not the interesting part, but I'm just uh, going to show you, I'm going to walk you through all this so you can see that this is exactly what I described. Beast is a song that rhymes with the word beast, and to be honest, it's pretty catchy at first, until it stops singing and it just gets weird for the last couple of seconds. Like, why the f is the beast getting breastfeeded? Like, what? Like, I don't get it, I don't get it, but just go take a listen to it, it's, it's funny. Things clean. Give it a shine. Give it a sheen. I am the beast that peeps the beast. Shake those hips. Let me see. I am the beast that peeps the beast. Get out of line and you'll get some of these. I am the beast that likes to breach. Don't fix your problems. Resort to belief. Local 58 is a fake broadcast station web series that is off putting for the most part. It has a lot of distortion on each video and it makes you feel that everything going on in the broadcast station is real. It feels like Local 58's goal is to manipulate people to believe that everything is real. It's all well made, so if you want a good scare, go check them out. Link in bio. Hey Walter is a video of a man that is recording a message to his friend Walter. The man proceeds to talk about how he met this girl, who is his girlfriend, self acclaimed by the way. During the end of the video, he shows a door in which he opens it that has a woman screaming inside, begging for help. To this day, it's one of the biggest mysteries in YouTube since people are still trying to figure out if it's real or not. But come on, it's obviously a skit, it's not real, and even the like FBI went into this case, and I think it's kind of obvious it's not real. Like. Why would somebody just post them kidnapping somebody on YouTube? It wouldn't make sense, but you know, there's crazy people out there. Who knows? She hates cameras, Walter, but I'm gonna show you that anyway. You ready? <laughs> Obey the Walrus is a video of what it seems to be a woman dancing. The video originated from clips of a movie called The Goddess Bunny. What makes this video off-putting is the way the video is edited, making the dancing increase in speed. People have made theories that if you watch this video, bad things will happen, but this is obviously not true. The actress in this video is called Sandy Crisp, who was a transgender woman who also had polio, which has not made an update in social media in a long time. So we may never know whatever happened to Sandy Crisp. The Blank Room Soup video is a video of a man eating soup while two people are watching him as he keeps eating. You may be asking, what is he eating that makes him cry? Well, my friend, he's eating chopped up parts of his wife and kids. However, that is just a myth that goes with the video, as most believe it's just an art project. The Dawn is Your Enemy is an adult swim bump that was a way to inform kids to stop watching. They literally made this bump to scare little kids off adult swim since it's not child friendly and they shouldn't be up at that time like come on bro you got a bedtime you got school tomorrow. Username 666 was probably the first creepypasta. The video shows somebody entering YouTube like normal, but editing the link to youtube.com slash 666. Then the person starts refreshing the page, but it's normal at first. However, after a couple more tries, the screen turns bloodshot red and YouTube's dynamic changes completely into a creepy site. And of course, this is all fake, but you can find pretty disturbing features when you look into it. It's pretty interesting and I recommend watching the original video.
Teddy has an operation is a video of a man performing surgery on a teddy bear. It's a video with a good message of a doctor removing all the bad things out of the teddy bear's body. I read the comments of this video and most people feel the exact same way as I did. It looks like the doctor's taking good care of Teddy, so let's just hope for the best for Teddy. Teddy is on drugs. The doctor cuts into Teddy's flesh with his medical instrument. Look, there is Teddy's bonbon layer, which makes him sweet. The doctor takes a closer look at Teddy's bonbons. That isn't a healthy bonbon, Teddy. Here is what a healthy bonbon looks like. The doctor removes the bad bonbons. Now cat Ghost is a web series about a character named Gideon, Nara, and the cat. The show is mostly about Gideon having to put up with Nara, who is his daughter, and the cat. The web series has a good mix of humor and some horror aspects. The link to this web series will be in the description down below. Ugly. No one would ever love him. Gideon! Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, awesome. It's you too. Pizza Time Pizza is a promotional video of a pizza company, at least that's what it seems at first. They list many benefits if you eat their pizza and join their family, but during the middle of the video, the theme goes into a more darker direction, putting out a horrible message, like killing your parents. The last few seconds of this promotion shows the website for the Pizza Time Pizza while singing the full URL. And Pizza Time Pizza isn't just good for you, it's good for you. Did you know that 100% of people who don't try Pizza Time Pizza die, eventually? Agamemnon Counterpart is a very trippy video that starts off with the warning sign found in VHS tapes. It shows very off-putting animations and you can also hear screaming in the background of the video. What is the origin of this video you may ask? Well simply put, it's just another art project, that's it. Sitting and smiling is literally what it says. It's a man sitting and smiling in his videos for hours on end. Many people find it weird, but to be honest, I think he's just vibing. During some of his videos, however, you can see that he's peed himself, randomly start crying, and he's also gotten robbed in one of his videos. It's crazy how he can just sit hours on end, doing absolutely nothing but sitting and smiling, but hey, whatever flows his boat. Lasagna Cat is a channel that is about Garfield, but I guess you could say it's for the older side. It's also crazy to me that their channel has almost a 5 hour video just saying random jokes, and towards the end of the video it gets so fucking weird that's all I can say. However, I consider it a masterpiece for the most part, I would definitely recommend watching the whole channel. They have a bunch of videos and I'll put the link in the channel in the description. And to finish off layer 3, we have Happy Anniversary. Happy Anniversary is a video of a man who is laughing for the whole video. He's laughing because of a woman who went missing after a car accident. The man laughing made the video to celebrate the anniversary of this incident. This caused many people to believe he was the man behind it, kidnapping the woman after the car accident. There is nothing begins with a view of a figure saying a message backwards that you can't really understand at first. Then the figure's head falls into a plate in front of her. After what feels like an eternity, the figure raises its head and opens its eyes and says the same exact message as before. However, now we can understand what it's trying to say. The meaning of the video is pretty clear. There is no actual beginning or end and no real sense of where the video begins. <laughs> Is 
Daisy Brown is a YouTube channel that features a woman by the name of Daisy Brown and her pet Alan. However, Alan doesn't look like no ordinary pet. Instead, it looks more like an alien or something that you can find from space. Daisy Brown made many videos about Alan and like how she feeds him, puts makeup on Alan, and many more bizarre videos. But it gets more weirder. When you look into the transcripts of the videos, you can find hidden messages relating to Alan's thoughts. I seriously recommend checking out Daisy Brown's channel and let me know if you guys want me to take a deeper dive into Daisy Brown's channel. Uh, he, yeah, he doesn't have any sensation there. He was just surprised. So he is blind and he is a little bandaged up right now. He's having some skin trouble. And um, as you can see, he's just kind of like nibbling around looking for food. So I'm going to show you. 11BX 1371 is an odd video with a cryptic message behind it. Taking a look at the video, it takes place in an empty building with a figure dressed in a black hooded cloak wearing a plague doctor's mask. Throughout the whole video, you can hear constant static noises that almost make you go deaf, while showcasing hidden messages through the video which includes the figure's hand gestures that changes the amount at random, the graffiti in the walls, and the palm of the figure. However, it has been confirmed it is our project. This House Has People In It is a film that was made by Adult Swim starring Alan Resnick. The theme of this project is obsession leading to neglect. It's a recurring theme that appears through the film. It also shows signs of delusion, paranoia, and child neglect. This art piece feels like a statement on anxiety. The character Madeline, for example, is sinking on the floor due to anxiety. Like if she's manifesting her symptoms of the link disease. However, this is just my theory. This project can have so many meanings, it just depends on how you interpret the project. However, this doesn't change the fact this is one of the most interesting pieces of art. And nothing more than to make it our own! Feel Good Today is a video about a dinosaur with a weird look. It seems like he's giving out a positive message and advice, but it can come off creepy at times. Simply put, he's a therapist that offers help to others who need it. Towards the end of the video, however, he says, I will fix my patients and they will fix me, which means he also needs just as much help. I found it confusing, however, that this entry only mentions this video on the channel, but looking more into the project, you can even say you can make a full iceberg on it. The link to this channel will be in the description down below. Possibly in Michigan is a short film about cannibalism. A masked man stalks a woman through a shopping mall and then follows her home. And in the end of the film, the roles are reversed. Fun fact, when this film was made, the director dated a serial killer while he was active. That serial killer's name was known as the Unicorn Killer. The director's name is Cecilia Condit, and she was stated that this film was a way to reverse the roles of the situation she was in. Creepy stuff. Mm -hmm. Alan Tutorials is a YouTube channel that is made for tutorials for really specific situations that can lead to some head scratchers. Most of these tutorials are pretty useless, however, there is a bigger meaning to this channel once you start digging. You can tell Alan is obviously not right mentally, which explains the way he acts in his videos. You can see how his videos start trending in the wrong direction due to his videos becoming more disturbing. However, it's all fictional and it's a simple experiment. The creator of this channel is Alan Resnick, who we previously covered for the inspiration of Daisy Brown. He made this channel for satire purposes because at the time, pointless tutorial videos were popular. I recommend checking out Alan Tutorials if you want a good scare. Pickle Surprise is a video that starts off with a woman eating something that is tasty. Then two women ask what is it, in which she replies saying it's a surprise. Then a human pickle appears, saying a pickle surprise. Then the video just turns so weird. It's basically Pickle Rick as a human, that's really all I can say. Pickle surprise! Pick an English muffin. Spread sandwich spread. 
Meet Sleep is a YouTube channel that is a person who kidnaps women. At least that's what I thought while researching this channel. There are several videos that just shows recordings of random women who probably became victims. The meaning behind this person's actions was answered in the video titled, Peered It in Runic Letters. Through the video, it shows some hints that it could be for sexual reasons, but this is just my theory. Of course, this is an art project. Shay St. John is a YouTube channel of pure obscurity. This channel is mostly known for the video hand thing that most people have probably seen. The people shown throughout all these videos seem to be made out of plastic and mannequin parts. The person behind this channel is a name by the name of Eric Fournier. He said the meaning of this project is a woman who was a model before that got into a car accident then got a whole new body made out of mannequin parts. All I can say to that is what the f Look at the Clown is a video of a child therapy program for the creator's son, Ronald Yoder Jr., who is afraid of clowns. According to the creator, he says his son will have to watch this video four times daily until he is no longer afraid of clowns. The video credits the technique of the program to a children's psychologist by the name of Shirley Beverly French. The program then begins displaying creepy pictures of clowns while the phrase, look at the clown, is being repeated. Look at the clown. Look at the clown. Robert Heldman is a YouTube channel that has 12 videos on the channel that contains black and white, reversed audio, and what seems to be a dead body by the name of Daisy. A popular theory for this channel that surfaced came from inside the mind. He said that it isn't real, but there's definitely meaning behind it. Towards the middle of each video, a poem is shown, and if you can add these together, it creates this big poem that is called Game Lady that came from the 1700s. The poem is about a woman that came to a church and asked the pastor how she's going to look like when she passes away, and the pastor demonstrates it with a dead body. And then the poem, it says, a scream can be heard, meaning the pastor could have killed this woman, and this woman is most likely what this channel is inspired by. However, this is just a theory, and let me know what you guys think. Poochie and Pansy is a web series that stars two puppies, Poochie and Pansy. However, the web series turns to a quite disturbing turn. Throughout each episode, disturbing images can be seen like a weird looking mannequin, a video of someone walking around a building, and so much more. The meaning behind this web series was to recruit players for an alternate reality game called The Hunt for the Ganga Diddle. This came from all the hints from each episode that led to the people finding out about this ARG. If you want to watch this web series yourself, I linked it in the description down below. Your dream last night. I had one too. What was yours about, Poochie? It was about a kitten. He was locked in a tower, and an evil witch was trying to use him to find something called the, the Midnight, Midnight Crown. Crown. Well, Poochie, I had the same dream. Plastic Man is a video about child SA. The reason behind this is the fact that the figure doesn't really believe Plastic Man are human, but instead they're seen as monsters. Another reason could be when the word tickle is used. To most people, tickle seems to be a normal word and pretty innocent for the most part, but to the green figure, it builds stress. For me, the most heartbreaking part was when the green figure shows the spine and it uncovers a lot of disturbing stuff. We covered this exact channel in part one with the song Beast. Crazy how two videos are so different and have two completely different messages. Poco Poco Shopping is a Japanese video that shows two dolls that are hosting an infomercial where the viewers can purchase products like Nori-chan and poison pacifiers. Looking forward into the video, it transitions into a more disturbing video, showing the set on fire and me beginning to be released from the walls, ending this nightmare. The Maker is a short film that was made by Zealous Creative. The short film is about a rabbit making a life-size doll to have as a friend. The dog comes alive and they instantly connect. As the hourglass finishes its countdown, the original rabbit descends, leaving the new rabbit alone. The hourglass resets and the new rabbit realizes it must suit the role the first rabbit had. The short film is heartwarming and I recommend you all to check out their work. 
Camrades is a creepy pasta that was posted on 4chan where a person claimed to have found a backpack with various items including a note that said, I killed a camerad. This person was reportedly being followed by a camerad and eventually got tracked down. The video that is still available on YouTube shows mostly static with a scene that looks like a figure that is chasing someone down. Since the origin of this story is lost, it still remains a big mystery and I'm hoping we find this information pretty soon. Angels is an animation by the channel Baphomet Kun. In this video, it says we have expired from reality and we are able to live our life without any pain and we are eternally blessed. This channel posts similar videos just like this one that also trip me out. Grave Robbing for Morons is a 26 minute video of an unknown man teaching the viewer how to rob a grave. I'm saying unknown due to the fact we still haven't identified the man in this video. It goes into detail about the step by step procedure like the angle to pull out the jawbone out and how to remove the ribs. It seems to be a real video based off my investigation, however his instructions to clean the skull in fact is pretty bad and the steps to deal with the dead body is lackluster at best. If you want to check out the full video, I linked it in the description down below. Small Guide pertains to Craney Grispel's channel. The content showcased on the channel seems to be a Polish educational program for children. The protagonist of the show is Agatha, a character with eyes depicted as cardboard cutouts. Throughout the episodes, Agatha explores various concepts including unconventional topics like apple paper, jealousy, and other whimsical topics. The episodes typically commence in a child-friendly manner at first, but progressively introduce unsettling imagery and subtle references to satanic themes. However, there is just too much to unpack from the series, and I seriously recommend checking out the series if you have any spare time. The link to the channel will be in the description down below. Limbo the Organized Mind is a strange video featuring multiple rubber bands arranged to form a mouth and two eyes. This visual creation takes viewers on a surreal journey into the mind of the figure, delving into the entity's memories, selfish desires, and fears. As the narrative unfolds, we are led into the figure's personal recollections, which appears to be intertwined and eventually spiral into chaos. There are fleeting glimpses of wartime scenes hinting at the possibility that this figure may have been grappling with PTSD from military service. Notably, the video was made in 1966 by Jim Henson, the American film writer. He made this project to aim at the expressing intricacies of an individual's mind. PHR-2771 is an educational video featuring various rooms with individuals living in the same household. The house has a total of five different rooms, each possessing weird characteristics. For example, the third room showcases the unusual feature of Andy's skin covering one of its walls, while the soft room restricts entry unless the person inside exits first. Some objects within these spaces pose as a threat as mere visual contact could result in death. One room known as the suicide room remains unfinished due to an incident that occurred inside. The entire video is accompanied by a fire beat playing in the background. Upon exploring the channel, other bizarre videos are appeared. The video descriptions also provide a link to a website resembling in an ARG blog, but it appears to have been inactive since 2018. Plasma Master Don is the name of the channel created by Donzo Edward Owens Jr., an elderly man known for producing wholesome content featuring covers of popular songs. However, beneath the veneer of wholesomeness lies a disturbing revelation. A user brought attention to an entry of two sex offender registry sites, featuring a person named Donzo Edward Owens. This individual, described a 73-year-old man, was arrested on August 19th of 2019 for forcefully grabbing a boy's genitalia. Strikingly, the person in this photo bears a strong resemblance to the person behind Plasma Master Don. Sharing the same birthday of September 10th, 1947, they reside in the same region and drive similar vehicles, leading to suspicions about Plasma Master Don's true identity as the convicted child molester. Several days after the Reddit post surfaced, Plasma Master Don announced his departure from YouTube, citing for health-related issues. 
He was reportedly to have passed away on December 21, 2020 due to this illness. Mondo Films slash Documentaries is a playlist that features a collection of Mondo Films and documentaries that, as you might have guessed, show explicit content. There isn't much to elaborate on except for the inclusion of titles like Face of Death, True Gore, and The Killing of America. These films produced in the 1900s were designed to showcase extreme violence and gore, intending to shock the audience. The playlist compromises a total of 11 titles, with two of them that have now been deleted. If you're seeking something genuinely shocking and gruesome, tech, this collection might pique your interest. The YouTube soap culture centered around Monkey A is particularly disturbing. Numerous channels are solely devoted to sharing videos depicting the mistreatment and, in some cases, the death of baby monkeys. The Monkey Hate playlist features a range of videos showcasing various forms of cruelty, including force feeding, abuse, and fatal outcomes. Typically, these videos depict helpless baby monkeys, relying on external assistance for survival, much like a baby seeking comfort. Despite the distressing content, these videos manage to accumulate millions of views, promoting one to wonder who would find enjoyment in watching this. Monkeys are also my favorite animal, which makes this entry more sad. The channel known as Mr. Sleepy People has been removed, but based on my findings, it was dedicated to opening the eyes of individuals while they slept. Typically, these unsuspecting victims would be in a deep slumber, offering no reaction to the invasive actions. Despite the original channel's termination, several uploads with a similar theme persist, involving the exploration of sleeping individuals' eyes. These victims, often women, raise concerns that they have, might have been drugged by the person recording these videos, possibly to fulfill a preserved fantasy or engage in sexual assault. Regardless of the specifics, it is undeniably disturbing to contemplate the experiences these individuals, particularly women, have endured to find themselves in such unsettling situations. Trey Eric Sessler, also known as Mr. Anime, was a 22-year-old aspiring YouTuber who focused on creating content featuring skits and anime reviews. His videos hinted at an unusual fascination with violence, though it wasn't given too much thought initially. However, the situation took a dark turn when news surfaced that he had been arrested. Sessler had sinister plans to carry out a school shooting and had tragically taken the lives of his entire family beforehand to spare them from witnessing his actions. Eventually, he reconsidered his plan, finding it too unsettlingly real. He is currently serving a life sentence in prison, a consequence fitting for the gravity of his actions. Fake animal rescue videos are a set of videos of people who put animals in danger, then rescue them for views. These animals could have been brutally hurt while these videos are taking place, making this extremely sad, including myself who has two dogs of my own. Thankfully, many other channels have caught on to this and have posted direct videos exposing these creators for their fake animal rescues. This led to YouTube to change their whole community guideline rules to prevent any of these fake animal rescue videos from being available to the public. As many of you may already know, you can find gore on YouTube. These videos can be allowed by YouTube if at first the video seems normal, then at a certain point it shifts to a straight up gore video. Some examples of gore videos I've stumbled around in the past is video 1444, Ricardo Lopez, and much more. I hope YouTube becomes better at preventing these videos from surfacing at the site, because imagine a kid thinking they're watching a normal short leads to the kid being scarred for life from what they just saw. Well that's it for the weird side of YouTube iceberg, but before I end the video, I'd like to check out this channel recommended by Matthias, known as No Sleep 666. No Sleep 666, or I Can't Sleep, is a web series style channel that stars this monster that doesn't have a name. It's an emo looking creature, and once looking at their videos, it has a good range of digital horror that at least horrified me while watching, and in my opinion, I recommend you all to check it out. If you want a more in-depth video detailing more about I Can't Sleep, Check out the video linked below. It does a great job explaining how the series works. Wow, you really made it to the end of the video. Good job. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm working on a new video that I'm planning to release during spring break, so stay tuned. In the meantime, have fun, stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.